So it's just really unfortunate. And uh, I, I do remember a conversation with one of my students as, on Friday who told me that it's hot over here. I, you know, you all may know what that made. <laughs> it's hot. This is a hot area right now. And so they're afraid to come over to this area because it's hot. This, this is a result of maybe the heated area. Uh, it's unfortunate that our children have to experience the kind of violence that we saw today, unfortunately. Um, it does surprise me in the, in the uh, fact that we have not seen this kind of activity in years in this area. I know all One, uh, you need to come to some kind of agreement with the ACLU as it relates to being able to uh, come out here and actively enforce uh, the laws that are, that are current here. The second is the economic uh, component of this. A lot of the young men, they talk about uh, the lack of opportunities, and it's on us to create better opportunities for young men uh, so that they can have a, a job. Believe it or not, 50, over 50% 50 of our youngsters between 18 and 24 are not employed, they're not in training, and they're not in school. So they're literally just sitting around doing nothing. And this is what happens when we let young people do nothing.